Hi, we're doing a video on lip plumper. You got your scale, you got your glass bowl that can go into the pot of kind of a double boiling water. You'll put water into a pan and then put this with your ingredients. And first ingredients we're going to use is beeswax, 0 0.5 ounce. Put into the glass container. Measure until it says 0 0.5. Then we'll put this in the microwave for about 60 seconds and we'll just keep adding until it melts. Okay, let me get another glass so I can measure my shea butter. Always wash your hands before you do any kind of products. And we're going to want um, shea butter, two teaspoons. And I think I did. Hold on, let me check on that. Nope. Okay. So, two teaspoons. I gotta take some of this out if it's too much. So that'll be about 0 0.4 ounces. I'll put that on the double boiler. Then we're gonna use lip balm base unscented. Okay, we're gonna use about 10 more seconds of the beeswax. You put this on low heat on the stove. Okay, and now base bomb 0 0.6 ounces. It's gonna be hot, so get a little napkin and get it out of the microwave. It's not fully melted, but we're gonna put it on the double boiler so it can melt. So put that there. You got your shea butter trying to melt. We'll put that in the microwave just for a little bit because we don't want to kill the nutrients of it. So put 20 seconds. And we'll add the base bomb to the shea butter. We need base bomb 0.6. So we'll stir that around, let it melt a little bit, clear out your scale to zero, and swipe off some of the shea butter, and add till it says 0 0.6. Lower the heat to low if it starts boiling, because you don't want it to boil. Okay. Nope. Zero point six ounce. Okay. Zero point six. That was of the base bomb to help your chapstick lip plumper. Microwave right, we'll that twenty five seconds. Stir the beeswax so that it melts completely. Hello. Mm -hmm. This is my first video. I hope I'm doing okay. Don't be too harsh on me. I'll try to make more. Okay. So that's a little bit melted. Oops, this beeswax is getting stuck. Come on, little guy. Get out of there. Okay, hope it's not too hot. We'll add that to the beeswax, that shea butter, lip balm, 
beeswax so far. Okay, so that's already melted. So now we'll get those ingredients out of the way. And really we can turn off the stove because we don't want to cook it no more. And now we're going to start adding coconut oil. That's just because I put it into a different bottle. Any kind of organic coconut you can add. You can need these little syringes. I put a little top on there so it makes it easier for me to get it out. See? And coconut, you're going to need 13 mLs. So you got that. So about 10. Add it to your double boiler. Three more. Three more. So 13 mLs of coconut oil. Then you need castor oil. And castor oil is 7 ml of castor oil. 7 ml. Add it to your double boiler. I'll just say that word. Say it wrong. Okay. Now let's mix it up so that it's all melted together. Okay, now we're going to add bee venom, bee venom, bee venom, I get it from the Manuka honey and it has bee venom in it, you can get that on eBay, and we're going to need bee venom, two teaspoons. Let me get my teaspoons. One teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay. So you got your teaspoon, and you're gonna grab your bee venom. Looks like that inside. You're gonna grab a teaspoon of it. Pretty big teaspoon, but that's what it says. Teaspoon. Add that to your double boiler. It's kind of hard to get out. Come on, we'll back together. Okay. Boop. Just kind of mix the oil with it so it can kind of slime on out of it. Mix it around until it kind of disintegrates. Let me show you. Okay. So you're mixing it in a double boiler. I made my own. But it kind of stays like a little, oops, dumb little thing. Okay. So you're mixing it around until you can kind of get that out of there. It's mixed with honey and bee venom. If you're allergic to bee stings, then don't use bee venom. Just use all the other ingredients and take out the bee venom. I'm making this bulk, so it's probably going to make about 12 bottles of uh, tubes. You gotta make sure it mixes well because the bee venom um, with honey it kind of stays at the bottom. So before you pour it into your tubes, you're gonna have to make sure you kind of shake it up around so that it can go in the tube all the way. Okay, so it's pretty much disintegrated, and now we're gonna add on cool temperatures. We'll remove it from here. God, I hope I don't spill it. Okay, we'll put it out there, away from the heat. Okay. 